we have this nonlinear system and we want to design a backstepping based controller for this nonlinear system and we have already uh, studied the procedure design procedure as a first step we can uh, we see that this uh, dynamic system is in this particular format and we can apply the backstepping approach for design of the controller so uh, first step we consider only these dynamics that is only this first state equation so that is written over here and now considering x2 as an input to the system we find a control law such that the equilibrium point of this dynamic system is asymptotically stable so we find this control uh, xi is equal to phi of eta over here x2 some function of x1 so what do you think what function can be selected such that uh, this uh, uh, equilibrium point of this system is asymptotically stable right so there are multiple choices not a unique one however uh, this will also work so if we take this control law uh, uh, this term x1 square will be cancelled out with this one so you will have uh, minus x1 minus x1 cube that is we shall have these dynamics so we have uh, found this control law next we need corresponding Lyapunov function and uh, for uh, this uh, uh, dynamic system uh, the quadratic Lyapunov function will work we can take this candidate Lyapunov function compute its derivative so the derivative is written over here v dot is equal to x1 into x1 dot x1 dot is substituted from here so we get a negative <coughs> definite function there is only one state in this dynamic system so this expression is negative definite that is the equilibrium point of this system which is at origin is asymptotically stable also you see that phi of 0 is also equal to 0 this condition is also satisfied and once we have uh, this thing we proceed to the next step that is we consider this overall system and define a state transformation so that state transformation is written over here z is equal to xi minus phi of eta that is uh, z is equal to x2 minus phi of eta so this negative sign cancels out with this negative and this then so this is z and next we write this dynamic system in new state variables and that is uh, written over here x1 dot is equal to this expression and z dot is given over here so we have simply rewritten this dynamic system in new state variables uh, we can also define uh, rename this expression to be equal to v and then finally the control law will be given over here we can define the composite candidate Lyapunov function and the composite candidate Lyapunov function that is equal to the previous candidate Lyapunov function which was half x1 square plus half z square so this is uh, the composite can candidate Lyapunov function and uh, once we have this composite candidate Lyapunov function then the rest of the procedure is uh, quite simple we can use this expression which we have derived earlier to find the overall control law uh, that is given over here and what is v v was uh, half uh, x1 square so partial v over partial x1 what is that uh, its partial derivative with respect to x1 is equal to x1 uh, x1 minus kz uh, phi v, which uh, was on the previous slide this was phi so its derivative with respect to x1 is written over here minus 2x1 minus 1 multiplied by this expression this thing uh, which is over here this this thing and what is z 
uh, from the previous slide uh, z is uh, over here uh, that is uh, z was equal to x2 plus x1 square plus x1 we have simply substituted it over here to get the control law and uh, this is the control law that will guarantee the asymptotic stability of the equilibrium point of this nonlinear system we can furthermore rearrange uh, the terms to write it in a simplified way uh, k uh, is a positive constant and it can be taken uh, to be equal to 1 and uh, after some simplifications the overall control law is given over here so you see that the design procedure is quite systematic only the first step that is finding uh, this control law uh, that may be slightly difficult in some cases and finding the corresponding Lyapunov function that may be slightly difficult the rest of the process is quite systematic and easy so we have uh, implemented this control law uh, using MATLAB and let's see the performance of the uh, controller so this is uh, the dynamic system uh, this one uh, x1 square minus x1 cube plus x2 and the second state x2 dot is equal to u that is implemented over here uh, so this is x1 dot this is x2 dot x2 dot is equal to u and x1 dot is uh, this uh, function of uh, the state variables which is implemented in this block uh, so this is uh, x1 square minus x1 cube plus x2 this u u means the input to this block which is basically the state vector u1 is actually x1 uh, and u2 is x2 it is coming from here this is x1 and x2 and uh, this is the controller controller is uh, the same as uh, this one and we have <coughs> utilized this block so input to this block uh, are the state variables so here uh, is the implementation of this control law minus 2 uh, x1 minus 2 x1 plus x1 cube so uh, we have implement basically implemented the same control law uh, you can verify it and uh, we can simulate it for several different initial conditions and we see that the control uh, the controller uh, this backstepping controller is performing very well so here are the simulation results and we see, you see that uh, corresponding to initial conditions finally trajectories converge to the equilibrium point at origin so this was uh, the simple concept of uh, backstepping controller in the next lecture we shall extend the same concept to a uh, little bit more complex nonlinear systems uh, having more than uh, two states.